well, I don't know who really kind of asked that this kind of spin off the fairy tale, but no, this is another one of the announcements that we're getting for yet another spin off story. We've already talked about another one that was going to be working on a different author, and now we've got Fairy Tale City Heroes. This, um, this one's weird. Like, this one was just revealed as well. This is another uh, one that, like, um, Mushma announced on his Twitter that this is going to be coming now reasonably soon and there is a little picture of it and it shows Natsu, Lucy and Happy all as like cops like th there's no other way to work around you see like Lucy like in a, like a police outfit with a gun and you see like Natsu like just kind of looks like Natsu in a brand new art style and this is being handled by a completely different person as well this is being um, handled by um, Ushio Ando who's going to be providing the story and art for this one and this one's going to be coming out in full whether or not this is going to be coming out um, with the same time there was also talks as well that there he's going to announce more details about the fairy tale um, Zokuhen which is going to be the sequel stuff that we pretty much was uh, talking about and we was looking at with the preview stuff but so I think the one that we was looking at previously, that was a sequel to potentially different kind of spin-off like S-Quest stuff that we were working. Or that could be the other... The, there's a lot of fairy tale projects, I'm not gonna lie. He's talking about Zokuhen, which is the sequel. He's talking about City Hero, which is this one that we're talking about now. There's another spin-off that, that apparently, like when he said a uh, May and all that, and that he's we, uh, working on a secret project as well. Like, there's about four or five fucking projects going on, including Eden Zero, and I'm like, the man just don't stop. <laughs> the man just, uh, he's crazy. He just keeps working on more shit. Like, you see, like, down the I'm not gonna lie, this looks dumb. Like, it looks really, really dumb, but why not? Like, I'd, I mean, I read the theory, like, I read, like, the um, bit of the guide and stuff, and the guide and stuff was fine. It, um, I saw a bit of Fairy Girls, I seen, like, maybe one volume of it, and I was like, sure, why not? This is, exists for someone. I mean, personally, I, I want to add it more to my collection for the most part. Same thing with, like, the Wendy stuff. It's like, there are different spins on it, and it's not going to be for everyone. This is clearly one of those ones where it's like, if you just want to see some of your favorite characters getting up to hijinks and antics, it seems like this would make a fun OVA than anything, than a whole series. It's like, here's a spin-off OVA and do it, but sure, why not? It'll be like a volume or two. Interesting that, like, when we're talking about the author for this one, this uh, one was kind of interesting, is that this is being done by a guy known as um, Ushio Ando, who is different from the guy who was mentioning the last spin-off, and this is his first official work, because... I was searching him up on like um, just on sites and all that, and the only thing that he's uh, ever worked on was one um, one series, and that was uh, and it was a one shot. It was Kitan Joshi Mother Goose, which was in um, uh, Shonen Jump actually. It was a one shot in Shonen Jump Crown, and that's the only thing he's ever had. That was in 2015 that he produced this one shot, and since then he's just seemed like he's been going from assistant to assistant. For the most part, whether or not he was one of Mashima, I imagine he was one of Mashima's people at uh, some point in time, or like he's been going around there, like, hey, you want some work and all that? Then, hey, like, personally, this is normally a job for people where it's like this helps them get off, uh, you know, start off their feet, where it's like you work on this whilst you're working on your other series. Like, uh, as I mentioned as well last time, the uh, Nisekoi guy, he had his assistant, which made Weekend Study. Um, on there so that kind of basically worked off from there so you just use someone else's work and that's whilst you're um making a fun goofy spin-off while you uh, make you pay and then work on your other series on the side so i mean i'm fine with it this this is something that's probably gonna be like maybe a volume or three like i can't see this going on very long like um the too far but sure why not uh, it's not it's my it's probably the least interesting out of all the spin-offs and obviously the sequel news and all that um, hearing off, but I'll give it a fair shake when it comes out. Um, I want to see what some of you people, um, I don't want to see Nazi arresting me for fucking parking tickets and shit like that. And it's going to be a bit distracting when Lucy's going to be the one pulling me over saying you've been speeding and it's just, you're staring at a like, scampy outfit for the most part. But sure, wh why not? Just fuck it. It's, f it's just like, fuck it, Japan. Just do what you do best and all that and just make weird shit that no one asks for. So let me know what you guys think in the down below and all that. There's been a lot of news recently with all this stuff, so hopefully maybe we might slow down a little bit with all the fairy tale news a little bit, but if there's stuff to talk about, there'll definitely be stuff to mention. So that's all for me. Thanks always for watching, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.